Lesson 12.2c Describing Relationships Between Independent and Dependent Variables If we think of how one quantity depends on another quantity, it will help us to identify the independent and dependent variables. In a graph, the independent variable is usually shown on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable on the vertical axis. Emma bought packages of paper that have 200 sheets per package. How many sheets of paper did she buy? Well, it depends. How many packages did she buy? The number of sheets of paper depends on the number of packages she bought. It says packages, so we know she bought more than one package. Did she buy two packages? Well, then there's 400 sheets of paper. Did she buy three packages? Well, then there's 600 sheets of paper because Y depends on the number of packages she bought. The table shows the relationship between two variables, X and Y. And the value of Y is only increasing when the value of X increases. The value of Y is dependent. It's dependent on X. As x increases by 1, y increases by 1 each time. The value of y is always 30 more than the value of x. y is equal to 30 plus x. When x is 0, y is 30. As soon as x becomes 1, well, y becomes 31. It's dependent on x. This graph shows the relationship between two variables, x and y. As x increases by 1, y increases by 1. The relationship between x and y is additive. Dave saved $5 of coins in a jar. Each day, he added $1 more. How much has he saved? His amount saved depends on the number of days. He added $1 each day, so as each day went by, the amount he saved increased by 1. Y is dependent on X, and Y is equal to 5, the $5, plus whatever X is for the number of days. Now look at where this graph is starting. It's starting at the 5. It's not going through the origin. It's going through the 5 because he began with $5. In an additive relationship, the graph will not go through the origin, 0, 0. In a multiplicative relationship, the graph will go through the origin, 0, 0. Tala baked some apple pies using eight medium-sized apples for each pie. How many apples did she use to bake the pies? It depends. The number of apples she used depends on the number of pies she baked. If we know how many pies she baked, well, then we'll know the number of apples she used. We have our x and y values in the table. Here's the number of pies. Here's the number of apples used. If she makes zero pies, she's going to use zero apples, isn't she? If she bakes one pie, well, it's eight per pie, that would be eight apples. If she makes two pies, that would be 16 apples, 3 pies, 24, and so on. This relationship is multiplicative. As x increases by 1, y increases by 8. The value of y is always 8 times the value of x. y is equal to 8x. Last weekend, Gus mowed lawns. He charged $25 per lawn. How much money did Gus earn last weekend? It depends. How many lawns did he mow? The money he earned depends on the number of lawns he mowed. We have X for the number of lawns and Y for the amount earned. As X increases by 1, Y increases by 25. This means their relationship is multiplicative. The value of Y is always 25 times the value of x. The value of y is equal to 25x. y is dependent, x is independent. 
This graph shows the relationship between two variables, x and y. As x increases by 1, y increases by 50. The relationship is multiplicative, y is 50 times x. Mr. Park makes and sells handcrafted birdhouses for $50 each. So, how much has he earned? Well, the money he earns depends on the number of birdhouses he sold. Here is the dependent variable because it depends on, and here is the independent. It depends on the number of birdhouses sold. Our equation is y is equal to 50x. y is 50 times whatever x is. Now look at our graph. Do you notice it goes through the origin right here at 0, 0? In an additive relationship, the graph will not go through the origin 0, 0. In a multiplicative relationship, the graph will go through the origin 0, 0. We're now finished with lesson 12.2. We're going to be moving on to 12.3, which is broken into three parts. And the first part is writing an equation to represent a real-world relationship. It's easy to tell which is the dependent and independent when you're reading a problem. Ask yourself, well, it depends on. It depends on, and then you know that that is the dependent one. And also remember that additive relationships do not get graphed through the origin and the multiplicative ones do get graphed through the origin. Have a great day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.